Hello once again, my people, it is I, Veed, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Last episode, Nagito was coincidentally ending up where Chiaki and I were, over, like, every single time. Uh, and I bet he was just, like, stalking us for a minute, or, like, he knew where we were going to be at that said time. Um, we found out that Fuyuhiko has a lot more to do with this than I initially thought. And so that has put me put him up on my suspects list like nobody's business. Uh, so we're just gonna see what uh, Sonia and uh, Mikon found out with their investigations. Let's get started. All right, Snake Me, have you pooped? You have pooped. Stop pooping. Thank you. All right. So, Sonia, what do you have in store? Listen, I have big news. Huge, huge news. What's the big news? Remember that sun witch Esperito mask that was right next to Mahiru's body? Oh, the mask that the killer used to hide their face? Listen. No, that is not correct. That mask was not just to hide their face. Then what was it for? Well? Sparkling justice. Huh? Sparkling Justice is a serial killer and self-professed um, ally of justice whose name makes mankind shudder. They wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, they are a serial killer who only murders other criminals. Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be surprised. I mean, at least she, like, did something, okay? At least she was able to find something. If we have another Toko Fukawa in our hands, we, like, gotta know about it. Hey. This Sparkling Justice character. That's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? Hmm. I thought I heard my door open for, like, a minute. It's true that the mask was found as a hero's mask, but... Wow. It is a heroine ma- Oh, wait, nope, that's not how you spell- That's not how you say that. It is a heroine mask, to be precise. Sun Witch Esperito is a pretty witch girl. See? A heroine. Anyway. Uh, anyway, so you're saying it's possible that this serial killer is the one who killed Mahiru? Mm. Which means there's a serial killer hiding among us? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like this in some video game. The first one. <laughs> Are they gonna pull that off two times in a row though? Are they really gonna pull that off two times in a row? This is stupid. Serial killer my ass, the killer just used it to cover their face. That's weird. But even so, they sure chose something that stands out. That might be true, but... However, Although it's easy to write this as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. It's always good to take in every single possibility, okay? Pull a Kyoko Kirigiri, sister. Sonia, can you tell me everything you know about this so-called spikling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. Damn, she's memorized it. She memorized the monologue. The hell? Justice complete. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! She's memorized the Whole, like the whole monologue, like requiesta in pace, si. What the heck was that? Well, that is sparkling justice's catchphrase. What? An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase. Do you have a minute? I read it in a magazine in the library. There has only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed sparkling justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. However, However in the end, that journal journalist was punished by sparkling justice, too. <sighs> no good can come from getting involved with the serial killer. The serial killer might not want to hear that from you. Uh, um, this is all that I know about sparkling justice. Thanks to the mask, nobody knows that the true age or gender, making them a very mysterious individual. Hey, isn't that kind of a stretch to say that there's a serial killer hiding in our group? It happened in the last game, sis, and if they decide to repeat it, like, here they go in the first game with it. Listen. 
No, it does not mean that they are in our group. It is possible the serial killer was lurking in this island all along before they decided to murder Mahiru. Wow. That's probably not possible. But that's the only thing that I can think of. I mean, no matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. That one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. No matter how much I think of it, I simply cannot believe it. Sonia, I do. I do understand Sonia's feelings, but it's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. All right, what you got, Mikan? What about you? Mikan, you had something to say too, right? Well, compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. So, please don't get your hopes up and be disappointed. I get it, so just get on with it. Um, I tried my best to perform an autopsy, and I was able to find out Mahiru was definitely killed by the blow to the head. She was probably struck behind by one blow. Based on the scar, the weapon is clearly the metal bat. But every dark cloud has a silver lining, and they say, um, it looks like Mahiru didn't suffer. What does that mean? Uh, um, there's no doubt that she died instantly. Okay, so I don't know if I, like, read that beforehand, or if I just, like, assumed that she died instantly, but now for a fact that we know that she died instantly, it definitely then, um, shows that they tried to frame Hyoko by pushing up Mahiru's body up against the door so that nobody could leave through that door or enter through that door. Her death was instant? That sounds a little strange. I think I'd better remember that. Alright, Liddy! And there's another thing that I found. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to talking on my own. Were you busy right now? Just tell me. Um... During the autopsy, I discovered this in Mahiru's pocket. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30pm. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started sp suspecting us for no reason. Hiyoko Sayonji. Alright, Hiyoko. I still think that Hiyoko is innocent. However, Hiyoko definitely has something to do with this. Th this letter! If this letter is real, it would mean that Hiyoko met up with Mahiru, right? Plus, Mahiru's estimated time of death was around 3 p.m and they met 30 minutes prior? If we think about what that implies, then... Oh wait, if we think about what that implies, then... Oh, I'm starting to get confused. If it's true, what does it mean? What happened between Mahiru and Hiyoko? Okay. Okay, shit. Um... There's no, uh, there's no sign to walk around anymore. I need to hear what everyone wants to say. Okay, so I do have to talk with everyone. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who randomly appears by claiming an ally of justice. No. Although it's easy to write that off as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Okay. Uh, what about Kazuichi? Oh <laughs> Miss Sonia. She looks strangely excited. Ooh. Awesome. It's more like a powerful Gap Moe. <laughs> Man, I don't really, I don't really get it, but... Nice one, princess. That Miss Sonia is something else. This guy is just so laid back. I should leave him alone. Alright, well then what about you, Nagito? Hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find out whose footprints for those were? Actually, how were you able to find that out? I... After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I was I went to a certain place. Well, it's probably better to say I snuck in. <laughs> to everyone's cottages. Everyone's cottages? Yep. I told Monokuma I needed access for the investigation, so he simply let me in. That bastard. He did something shady again. Now then. But why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. 
Nagito squatted down near the entrance of the beach house began to, uh, and began spreading some papers he was holding. See? Come on, Hajime, take a look. After all, I went to the trouble of gathering all of this. Those footprints. I see, so that's the reason why you snuck into everyone's college. Uh, snuck inside everyone's cottage. Oh my god, I cannot read. I see. So the reason you snuck inside everyone's cottages was... Yep. That's right. I wanted to get a sample of everyone's footprints. Damn, he pulling a Byakuya up in this bitch. Okay, I see you. I see you. But unfortunately for you, Hika wouldn't leave his cottage, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It seems obvious that these footprints belong to this person. Whose footprints are they? Yep. Hyoko Sayonji. So like I said, somebody came in to frame Hyoko, but how they were able to frame Hyoko, I have no idea. Hyoko's... Well... To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. She shut herself inside her cottage, remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. Perhaps? So I figured if I lured her out, she wouldn't be in a hurry to get back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal, but she deserves it because she's a fucking bitch. <laughs> but it was totally worth it. The footprint I collected there was smaller than anyone else's, and matched the footprints of the beach house. Yep, there's no mistake. These are Hyoko's footprints. Okay, so since those are F Hyoko's footprints, that definitely means that she was framed. Because I don't think that- I personally don't think that she would be able to murder Mahiru. Also, it's not like I was snooping around or anything, but I just found something really interesting at her cottage. Something interesting? See? I found a lot of these candies inside her room. Th that's... Mm. They're gummy candies that come in four different flavors. Strawberry, le melon, grape, and orange. It looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently she, really, apparently, she really likes these brands of gummies. There should be other gummy brands, but she only brought uh, brought home a bunch of these. People are like that sometimes. Wait, did I read that right? Yes, I did. People are like that sometimes. There are people who will only eat the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. What's wrong with that? Well, it's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I thought I should tell you just in case. Just in case. Coming from this guy, this means it probably greatly relates to the incident. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Neato. Investigation. Or not even investigation. It is now debate time, my boys. I still... The time for unparalleled hedonism has come to an end. Now is the time to fight the decisive battle! The hostility of fresh blood, the insanity of a contest of wits! The class trial is finally raising its curtain! So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock! Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon! Now then. I still don't know who did it. In my mind, it is either Fuyuhiko or Peko. But it's more so I think that Fuyuhiko did it. Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation is over. So it's finally starting. The class trial where our hopes and the killer's hopes will finally clash. <laughs> but it's alright. Either way, hope will win in the end. All right. Now then, let's go prove it. Ah, uh, why is he? Why is he so excited about? There's no reason for. Uh, there's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyway, we we should just start heading over. At the trial field where Monokuma is waiting, I have to make my case there. There is no escape. There is no escape. What have? Oh, uh, we have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let us go. As we talked amongst ourselves. We left the beach house and Mahiru's body. Alright. Coolio. And I think I'm... Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, hello? What's going on with my pet? 
Oh. It wants to give you something. Damn, a hundred Monokuma coins. And she also gave me ramen and coconut juice. Goodbye. No! I like you, Snake Me. Alright. I guess I have to... I guess I gotta walk around now, huh? I, 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 I guess so. Man, that was sad. I didn't want that. I like Snake Me. I thought it was just gonna evolve into something else. I can't believe that it laid an egg out of its mouth, though. Like... <laughs> Girl, bye. <laughs> Monica Marak. Oh. It puked out an egg. <laughs> no, let me go. Help me. Why? He's gonna do something crazy to me. I'll be ruined. Cry, bitch. No one fucking cares. Okay, you're a stuck up little brat that everyone fucking hates. Except for Mahiru, but she's dead now, so everyone hates you. Hey, shut up and stay put, you stubborn little Lolita. Stop hey, stop harassing little girls. This, what is going on? Jeez. Hyoko was trying to run away, so Monokuma brought her by force. But Hyoko is still trying to run away, so Monokuma is trying to wrap her into a full Nelson. Hey, if you don't stay put, I'm going to make you part of the island's food chain. <laughs> Jeez, making me wait my, my waste my sweet ass time. But there's another problem to deal with besides this one. Where the heck is Fuyuhiko? That guy, he totally ditched. He totally ditched my appointment. He pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Monokuma's going to kill for you, Hiko. I'm sorry, what did I just see? Hello? Bruh. Did I just see Monokuma go Super Saiyan? <laughs> oh my god, bye. He, his anger changes form! I'm right here. Uh huh. Uh, Fuyuhiko, you came. I was worried about you. There's no way for me to run anyway, so no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? But still. I'm a, I'm a Yakuza. Accepting defeat is not an option. Fuyuhiko, what does that mean? Well, it's all good if the trial heats up. It's all good. Anyway, anyway, looks like everyone's here, so let us depart now. See ya later. I'll go first and be one step ahead of you guys. This is bad. Oh, crap. I'm not mentally prepared yet. Like, do you even have to prepare? If you don't have enough power, harness your latent energy. Come on, bring out that energy! I can't be loud right now, or at least I can't be loud as I usually am because it is literally almost midnight and it's, I don't have my own place. This too so be it begins. Of the beginning of the end. <laughs> now then, let's keep our spirits high so we can one day find that shining hope. That's right. I can only... Moving forward is the only option. Alright, let's go! Monokuma Rock! Rah! Puke out that escalator. Thank you. You are so evil! No matter how many times I see it, it's such bad taste! The worst, the lowest, most brutal taste! Somehow I moved my muscles, stiff from fear and nerves, and awkwardly walked onto the escalator. For some reason, my breath was short, and I was eventually struck by a feeling similar to dizziness. The moment all of us were inside Monokuma Rock... Oh. Bye, Miss Thing. <laughs> 
A rumbling sound filled the room, and the surrounding space began to fall. Man, we, uh, I, I still think that Fuyuhiko, I still think that Fuyuhiko killed her. As it shook with a clatter, the elevator we were inside continued to drop. Throughout that drop, I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair. As if my heart was a rotten fruit swelling in the sun before it finally goes squish. I suddenly stopped breathing. <sighs> this ain't the same fun. The same fun time, fun games, dude. We ain't gonna have a fun time. My consciousness began to fade from the pressure. I tried to endure that pressure by firmly standing on my legs. And after a while, the elevator's vibrations gradually weakened. And then it stopped altogether. Oh, this is nice. This is cute. It's like a little ocean theme. Okay, I see you. Aim! Defeat the boring routine! So, I've decided to start redecorating! How's it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? Impossible. It's not like I'd allow you to think otherwise anyways. That is... To go to the trouble of doing something this elaborate? Really? What is your true intention? No, no. Nothing really. I mean, essentially, the killing game is just to kill time anyways. <sighs> kill time? Yeah. To break away from my purpose. That alone is my purpose. A purpose is only going to be a weakness. Those who have purpose are always the weakest ones in the bunch. That's why you guys should forget about such cheap-ass purposes and just, like, trying to survive. And enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your hearts! It's starting. The class trial is starting. Mahiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. More importantly, she was always straightforward. The person that killed her. Uh, Teru Teru highlighted in red because bitch he dead is among us? I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but... Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Because it's the only way. Aside from finding out who the killer is, there is no other way. For us to survive. And so, this light-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. Uh, yes, I would love to save my progress. Hi, please, thank you. Uh, so first off, I want to open up my e-handbook. So basically, I'm going to prepare everything. This episode is going to be a little bit shorter. But it's because I want to glide off in the cliffhanger, okay? Make the fun stuff for later. Okay, report card. Okay, I want to go to Asami so I can buy some skills. How many do I have? Five. What do you do? Slightly increases the time limit for each phase. Trigger happy. Trigger happy havoc. D uh, decreases delay between firing truth bullets. Effective during the non-stop and rebuttal show. Ooh. That would also be very nice. Increases damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. Effective during panic talk action. Maybe. That would be really nice. Excellent blade. Sharpness increased by two. Effective during rebuttal showdowns. Cannot be combined with fine sword. Uh, okay, clock up. Increases max speed during logic dive. During logic dive. I think I'm going to do excellent blade because that would be really nice. So in that way, I wouldn't have to, you know, cut that much stuff out. Um, cool. So then let's do that. Let's go ahead and set the skills. So let's put on you now because now I'm at level 33. So I can start... Putting, I can just start stacking it up. I can just start stacking them up. Cool. Um, and you know what? Let's open up the handbook and let's take a look at our truth bullets one more time. So, the victim is Mahi Koizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. 
The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. There are no other conspicuous external injuries, and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. The, bl the blood stain on the floor had streaks leading to the roadside door, as if Mahiru had called through it. Okay. Uh, footprints were sound near the crime scene. The trial leads from the beach house and loops around towards the road. The footprints were Hyoko's. Uh, metal bat. The metal bat was found at the crime scene. Due to the blood stain coating it, it's believed to be the murder weapon. The murder weapon used in Twilight Singer murder case was the metal bat too. There were a bunch of empty plastic bottles inside the trash can in the beach house. There are probably drinks in the refrigerator. So since this is one, I believe that since the shower... Because, like, if you take a blow to the head... It, you're gonna admit, like be a bloody mess. So I'm thinking that they went into the beach house, but because there was no like showers, they took all of the water bottles and washed themselves out in there. That's the only thing that kind of comes to mind as why there's so many water bottles in there and why there's not any water bottles inside of, of the refrigerator. A mask of the anime character Sunwitch Esper Ito was found at the crime scene. I still don't know what that's for. A gummy candy found in the closet of the beach house. Uh, the beach house has a shower room. However, shower is out of order and cannot be used. The open window in the shower room. It can be open, but due to its high location, it can't be accessed unless you hitch a kitty back ride from someone. In Twilight Syndrome murder case, a tipped over fish tank was found in the music room where the first, body, uh, first victim's body was discovered. Gravel and water were scattered everywhere. In Twilight Syndrome murder case, there was a broken window in the music room where the first victim's body was discovered. Normally, you can't leave the music room without passing through the entrance hall. Girl E, who appeared in Twilight Syndrome murder case, had her swimsuit stolen by someone. The, uh, the ending room was found in Mahiru's room. Or the ending prize was found in Mahiru's room. It consists of an envelope containing four f uh, photographs. This is also a letter included in the envelope that says, Try playing Twilight Syndrome murder! Um, totally, try playing Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you all did to my sister. We'll talk then. Uh, one of the ending prizes, a picture of Mikan, Ibuki, and Hiyoko in what appears to be at an entrance hall, taken by Mahiru. At the end, uh, one of the ending prizes, a photo of a broken vase. Girl D showed Girl E this photo in Twilight Syndrome murder case. This vase was broken in the classroom next to the music room. Uh, one of the ending prizes, a crime scene photo of the victim after she was killed in the music room. One of the ending prizes, a girl scene photo, a crime scene photo of girl E after she was killed. It looks like she was killed with a metal bat. Apparently, there is a lot of these hidden inside of Hyoko's room. Each bag comes in four flavors, strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. The letter found inside of Mahiru's pocket. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I'll put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house at the second island at 2.30pm. It seems that there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting, let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's not see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Hyoko Sayonji. <clears throat> Covered in blood. Mahiru received a blow to the head um, from... Well, received a blow to the head from behind and died instantly. Uh, and yeah... I'm going to go ahead and pause the episode right there. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Avira. I hope that you had a wonderful time watching this. I hope that you had a wonderful time watching me finish up my investigation, get closer to figuring out who killed Mahiru Koizumi. I still think it's for you, Hugo. Um, make sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe buttons down below. You know how to follow YouTuber out. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss about any of my uploads. And I will see you in the next episode. <laughs> Goodbye.